friends welcome to bank exam cafe and in today's episode on case study based questions we are going to discuss still one more question cbse this year has introduced case study based questions and will be asked in the 2021 examination and so this is as per the new pattern 2021 previously we have uploaded two videos and now this is the third one the link of the previous two will be provided in the description box i request you to go through that two parts also and in the coming time i will discuss more case study based questions so now instead of wasting the time let us see the today's question so friends here is a question on the screen arithmetic progression is sequence of numbers such that the difference of any two successive members of the sequence is a constant this definition you have studied Here it is given that Rima, being a plant lover, decides to open a nursery, and she bought few plants with pots. She wants to place the pots in such a way that the number of pots in the first row is three, in the second row is five, and in the third row is seven, and so on. Here, friends, the information is given that. Rima being a plant lover she decides to open the nursery and she puts the pots in this fashion first row 3 pots in the second row 5 pots in the third row 7 pots and so on so in the first row she puts 3 pots in the second row she puts 5 pots in the third row she puts seven pots it means in the next row she will put nine pots in the next row she will put 11 pots and so on and so your arithmetic progression will be 3 5 7 9 11 and so on and now we will see the questions asked on this given information so here is the first question If Rima wants to place 120 pots in total, then the total number of rows formed in this arrangement is 12, 10, 14, or 8. So Rima wants to place 120 pots. So here, sum of the pots that is S n is given to us is 120, and our arithmetic progression is 3 5 7 9 and so on so the first term will be a that is 3 common difference that will be what second term minus first term that is 5 minus 3 that will be and you have to find the number of pots that is n you have to find so here you can apply the formula for sn as sn is equal to n by 2 into bracket 2a plus n minus 1 into d close the bracket so sn is given to you that is 120 so this will be 120 which is equal to n by 2 and we do not know so it will be n by 2 into bracket 2 into a a is 3 so 2 3 are 6 plus n minus 1 into the value of d is 2 so multiplied by 2 so this is 120 which is equal to n by 2 into bracket this will be 6 plus multiply by 2 inside the bracket so 2n minus 
now 6 minus 2 that will be 4 so it is 120 which is equal to n by 2 multiplied by this will be 4 plus 2n 4 plus 2n and so which is equal to 120 multiply by one half inside the bracket so it will be 2 ones are 2 2 twos are 4 so that will be 2n plus 2 ones are 2 2 twos are 4 and that will be n square so this is the quadratic equation you are getting n square plus 2n minus 120 that is equal to 0 and so here you will have to solve this quadratic equations by splitting the middle term and if you split the middle term and find the factors of this then you will get that n plus 12 into another bracket n plus sorry n minus 10 because the product is minus 120 so it will be n minus 10 which is equal to 0 so the product of these two brackets is 0 so either this bracket should be 0 or this bracket should be 0 so n plus 12 that is equal to 0 or n minus 10 that is equal to 0 so n is equal to minus 12 and n is equal to 10 here this will be rejected because the number of pots cannot be negative and therefore n is equal to 10 so friends here we got n is equal to 10 and we have to find the number of rows and so the correct option will be the second option that is 10 that number of 10 rows will be formed in this arrangement now let us move to the next question here friends you have to do the calculations quickly i have done each and every step but instead of that you can do it little bit faster to save your time because this is the mcq type question you need not to do all the steps and you do not to show how you have solved it now the next question is that how many pots are placed in a last row in the last row how many pots are placed here you know that a is equal to 3 d is what it is 2 correct and we have to find how many pots are there how many rows are there n is equal to 10 the number of rows are 10 that we have calculated in the previous question correct and we have to find how many pots are there so in what will be the a tenth term because there will be 10 such rows first second third fourth and likewise there will be 10 rows it means the tenth term that we have to calculate so a 10 that is equal to a plus 9d and so which is equal to a is what it is 3 plus 9 into d d is 2 so it will be 3 plus 18 and so that is equal to 21 and so the correct option will be second that is 21 so in the last row that is in the 10th row there will be 21 pots let us move to the next question friends there is no need to fear the questions will be simple find the difference in the number of pots placed in the eighth row and the third row you have to find the, the difference between the number of pot, pots which are placed in the eighth row and in the third row the ap is 3 5 7 9 and like this correct you have to find the difference between the eighth row and the third row it means you have to find the difference between a8 minus a3 so here a8 is written as a plus 7d minus minus this will be a plus 2d a3 is what a plus 2d so which is equal to a plus 7d minus a 
minus 2d and therefore a and a will get cancelled 7d minus 2d that will be 5d d common difference that is common difference is 2 so 5 into 2 and which is equal to 5 to the 10 and the correct option will be the 1 10 is the number of difference number of uh, the difference in the number of pots placed in eighth row and the third row now friends move to the next question if rena has sufficient space if rena has sufficient space for 15 rows then how many total number of pots are placed by her with the same arrangement Presently, she has made 10 rows, but if she has sufficient space and she has arranged for the 15 rows, then how many pots in all will be there? So, how will you calculate? It is very simple. You will have to calculate sum of the 15 rows. So, S15 you have to find. It means sum of the 15 terms. So, S15 that we calculate as N by 2 into bracket. So, N by 2 here N is 15 upon 2 inside the bracket 2A. 2A, A is Yes, the first term is 3 and 2a will be 6, 2 into 3 that will be 6 plus n minus 1 that is 15 minus 1 into d that is 3. Sorry, d is not 3, it is, it is 2, so d will be 2 and now solve this so it will be 15 upon 2 into bracket this will be 6 plus this will be 14 14 into 2 that will be 28 and so which is equal to 15 by 2 into 6 plus 28 that is 34 and so which is equal to 2 ones are 2 2 sevens are 14 and 15 into 17 that will be 255 7 5s are 35 so the unit place digit will be 5 here in no option there is 5 in the unit place so there is no need to do the multiplication directly you can say that the third option is the correct option now move to the next question if for an ap an is equal to 4n plus 5 find the common difference very simple question so an that is equal to 4n plus 5 so a1 will be what a1 will be we will put the value of n as 1 so 4 ones are 4 so it will be 4 plus 5 that is 9 so the first term will be 9 then we calculate a2 put the value of n as 2 so 4 to the 8 so 8 plus 5 so that will be equal to 13 and so second term will be 13 and how do we find the common difference common difference is the second term minus first term so it will be 13 minus 9 and 13 minus 9 will be 4 and so the second option 4 will be the correct option so friends i hope you must have enjoyed this video if yes please like the video share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel thank you very much for watching this video